OK, well, now to this late breaking news this afternoon. And as you know, in an unprecedented escalation of tensions in the Middle East conflict, Israeli missiles have hit Iran. Australia's government is urging all of our citizens in Israel to leave immediately if safe to do so. I'm joined now by Sarah Coates, who is in Tel Aviv. And, and there is a bit of a delay, but I felt that it was really important to take you there anyway. So please be patient with us, guys. Uh, Sarah, what is the latest? Hello there, Erin. Senior Iranian officials have spoken out to state media. They are really downplaying this incident. They're saying that there are reports of an attack, no reports rather, of an attack from abroad, saying that these mini drones that were flown by infiltrators from inside the country, so really downplaying this incident. But here on the ground, it is really business as usual. If you have a look back around a week ago, people were extremely worried. They were out taking out money. They were stockpiling food and water, panic buying generators with this threat from Iran, which did eventuate, of course, on Saturday. But really, as I said, business as usual today. There are hundreds of people surfing at the beach uh, very close to where I'm standing. You've got people and their babies walking their dogs uh, just down from where I am. And there is a, a real sense of relief, I think you could say, here in Israel after that success from the aerial defences last week, uh, you know, really after uh, so much fright, I think you could say. Yeah, absolutely. And we're yet to hear officially from Israel, but America has confirmed background to different TV networks over there that they were warned about these attacks. As you said, Iran is essentially saying nothing to see here. Do you think we'll hear from Netanyahu soon? Is there any talk that he will front the media at some stage today? No talk yet of that, but we could potentially hear from the Israeli Prime Minister. But what we're looking at here really could be a limited response that the United States has been pushing, urging Israel to carry out. There was a lot of fear that Israel could carry out something fairly significant, which could then uh, tip the region into a wider conflict. But there were reports just yesterday that Israel had agreed to a more limited response to Iran and by doing that, the United States, the Biden administration, had then given Israel the green light to actually carry out this operation down into that southern Gazan city of Rafah, uh, which is something that Israel has been planning, Israel has been wanting to do now for some time, given that Israeli authorities here believe that the last four Hamas battalions are stationed there. So certainly this may very well be the end of it, but we do need to take into account what we've been hearing from the Iranian president, Ibrahim Raisi, uh, just over the last few days. He is threatening a massive response. He's been saying that any little Israeli retaliation, whether it be on its interests or whether it actually be on its soil, would elicit something massive. So certainly now, really, uh, the ball is in the, uh, the court of the Iranians. And Sarah, uh, finally, I know that journalists don't necessarily like to make stories about themselves, but I'd love to know how you feel, uh, essentially, being on the ground there. It's a dangerous job that you do. Erin, I feel pretty fine. I just went and filled up my kettle and a few glasses of water. I haven't really had time to go to the shops to stock up on anything, but I think this is something that you get fairly used to. I arrived here uh, just after October 7, and living in this region, as I have for the last six years or so prior to October 7, you very quickly get used to being in, I think you could call it war mode. There are often sirens. Uh, I covered another war uh, a couple of years ago here, and it's just something uh, I think that you do get used to. And people in this country are very much used to, and I think this is why we're not really seeing any panic now, uh, business as usual, really after that 99% success rate, mm -hmm. that's according to the Israeli Defence Forces, uh, after that unprecedented Iranian strike on Israel last weekend. Yeah, the Iron Dome really doing its job, as are you, Sarah, for us. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it.